Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Peaches here and I wanted to come out here and talk to you about a situation that I was in maybe three months ago. Alright, let me start off with my story. After I won state, I decided I wanted to continue powerlifting, right? It was that feeling that I had after I won, it was everything I could have ever imagined. The amount of work I put in, I remember it feeling like it paid off. It was the best feeling I could have possibly ever thought. And I realized, you know what, I, I don't want to stop this, I want to continue going. That state meet, I talked to the head coach of Midland University, uh, Coach Tim Anderson. I thought, you know what, I'm going to continue to do this. I love the thought of doing power in another college, another city, another state. I love the thought of starting over. From state till I actually left, it was five months in time and a lot can change in five months. Right, my head was still in powerlifting. I was still lifting. I was still, you know, expecting to leave and kind of leave everything that I, you know, created down here in those five months. Doing so, I lo I left everything for about it wasn't too long a six month time period of me being in Nebraska, and it was quite a while. It was definitely a, a learning experience. I'm very glad that I actually got to experience, you know, some sort of a college life and being able to go live my dreams in another city, another state, as I thought. But guys, the thing that I can't stress enough is dreams do change, opportunities change. Some things you kind of grow out of, and my high school journey it was to win state champ, which I'm glad I did. Very glad that I actually you know, pursued my dreams and put in all that work for me to you know, continue to hold the state record and continue to actually hold that champ in my name. Yeah, I thought my journey wasn't over yet, and it possibly isn't. You know, who's to say what the future ahead of me might, might hold. However, I do know that that was my goal for the high school journey that I had. It was to win state champ, and that was my only goal. It was not to continue to go chase another title, maybe a national champ. Uh, you know, for me, I found something that I truly love truly invest all my time into and invest on in my knowledge as I know that it's a process and again I'm in love with the process I'm in love with actually being able to obtain a goal and hold it against me where I have to put in everything to actually chase that dream and for me that new dream is my clothing line my photography my own entrepreneurship that I'm trying to create for myself and guys that's basically another state champ title I'm, I'm pursuing another champ title I'm pursuing basically it's to, you know, being able to obtain my dreams that I have now. It, it actually took me a while to come and sit down and really talk to you guys about my plans. As a, I feel like I owe it to some of you guys leaving the valley, leaving my hometown, leaving my family, my friends, and a lot of relationships I'm still trying to build up since I left. And it was, it was quite difficult to actually, you know, leave and every, everything I had. Uh, Again, in Nebraska, I'm not going to be able to come down here as often as, you know, usually going to somewhere like San Antonio. That's a lot more closer to me. College was just a business, another business taking my money. And as I'm understanding the business aspect, it's just a realization that I came across to that I didn't obtain me needed for what I was pursuing. And a lot of y'all might think differently. It's just, this is my journey. And again, I... Only I'm in control of my journey. And that's the thing that it took, took me a while to realize. So it was the biggest huge risk factor that I could have taken to, to actually leave everything. The scholarship, the, you know, the dreams, and the new friends I had over there. And especially my, one of my best friends, my closest friends, he's still over there. And I'm probably a fucking dick for, for leaving him on his own. But I, I spoke to him a lot about it and he was okay with it. Might not be, might be looking at me and saying, fuck you, Javi. Guys, it was a huge risk, basically, is what I'm saying. It, it didn't it didn't come to me in, in a day. It was a, it's quite a journey. I was thinking about it. The thing about college is you have to push through all your time into that, you know, or else your, your grades are going to lack. And for me, I was trying to, you know, manage a lot of things at the same time, which is totally my fault and totally my decision. And I just had my priorities kind of all mixed up and that's something you have to make sure you continue to to keep in control is your priorities right you have to know what something for you to level up in another part that's gonna help your future and for me the only thing that matters to me is my future and I, I'm very goal-minded and I'm I'm extremely 
I'm extremely blessed for the opportunities that I have and I'm extremely blessed to be able to actually, you know, work, work in so much, uh, work in comfort of knowing that, you know, I have a, a house to live in and, and then that I have a future ahead of me. However, that doesn't change that my work ethic is not going to be as, as dramatic as it was for the state champ series or anything. It's going to be beyond that. This is something else different. This is my life and I, I'll continue to make this you know, my journey and continue to pursue it, I'm gonna make it. I'm telling myself because I, I've been putting all my work into this, I I just know that this is something that, you know, I'm truly passionate about and I'm just truly happy doing all of this. And I know I'm not where I wanna be yet, however, it's the process that made me love powerlifting in the state champ series itself and make that made me love, you know, recording for YouTube the amount of viewers I had, recording for you know, the few people that actually, you know, sat down and watched my videos for my state champ journey. And when it comes to the school program, uh, Midland University was a great school. It was, it was something definitely I could replicate as a high school. It was a smaller college. Um, I definitely didn't take that into consideration. I felt like I was just redoing a lot of things. But again, a lot of people like it. I didn't. Living in the dorm, doing all my work in the dorm. Uh, just couldn't have my own workspace work in my own environment but I did the best I could uh, being over there and the coaching program it was amazing yeah definitely some great coaches out there great lifters I met a lot of good people but again I just wanted to come out here sit down and talk to you guys about my new goals and you know some past goals that I might have left out on and I just felt like I, I kind of wanted to tell a lot of y'all kind of my side of the story but I'm not saying that college isn't gonna work for everybody I strongly believe that college is an opportunity for many people that actually want to pursue and any sorts of degree that might need a college degree. I'm not saying I drop out of college, but however, it's just my decision. And again, you don't need college to be successful. I strongly believe in that. And I'll continue to say that until I make it. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll continue to come out here and maybe talk about some new journeys and some new knowledge that I might be able to spit on you guys. <laughs> but again, uh, thank you guys and have a good one. Oh, and I forgot, I'll catch y'all motherfuckers on the flip.